try and do a radio broadcast. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Okay, checked it. Looks like it's still the... Yeah, it's still the... Starting soon. Alright, opening frags have gone the way of uh, Rev. Four to, uh, now it's even up 4 to 4. There we Let's go. That's been taken on both teams. It looks like. JT is just Either rocket on the tele exit. Lucky he didn't go out to be fair. He's not even interested in trying to get a heal for some reason. Because he's going. No, oh, no, he wasn't his first death. I assumed this was his first death, but. He's got a lot to do now. He's got 10 seconds alone with everyone bearing down on him. I don't see him winning uh, this. Two tiers. Rev, a back and forth game. Rev did a great job of hiding there before he got finished off, and it just. That was the end for JT. Wasn't able to eliminate one of the, one of the gunners. This is unfortunate for Gibbs. He got isolated there in two v two v one. This feels like a like a pub. It's so random. I think we can play so aggressively. Yeah. I think it's hard to just hold a room and just fight. Unlike say maps like Sunken or Ancient. Not Ancient, Sunken. Yeah, especially since you can jump over the roof on this map. Both these teams are quite good at that as well. Yeah, so currently the frag advantage is definitely in the favour of uh, what it was in the favour of. Uh, of uh, NSI. Yeah, NSI. But it's starting to get evened out now. Yeah. Usually in the beginning of a round, or towards the beginning of a round, the, if a team has the frag advantage, it typically means the other team has no armor or has got the armor disadvantage temporarily. Because yeah, they fought, but hadn't died yet. Oh, there could be a melee at the exit. No. <laughs> Quite considerable. It's a it's a full rotation of deaths now. So so NSI have got a full set of deaths ahead of the other team. <laughs> that was a nice oh, reball. Oh, good though. Nee is not in a position to fight. Rev Rev's got a nearly full stack. Nee is very low. There's someone on the roof. I want. It's no, hard he was to hit. Going over. Okay. He jumped over. But he has to stay alive now for that. It's a nice little cheeky rail there on, on SMG. Oh. There we go, nice Fire to SMG. out. This. Rhett Bell did very well then to stay alive, but he's got a uphill struggle now. He's on a full minute respawn. It's a 2v2, but knees back up in a minute. And Snut. Oh, Snut's just taking damage left, right, and center. Death Looks is like now alone. Is gotta be NSI pushing here. Yep. There he is. They found him. And that is it. It's a match point. 
on the first map. It's a pretty decisive round there from um, SI. For the most part, I think they were pretty much in control, apart from one or two points. Nice opening damage there from the. JT is taking a bit. Wow. Lovely grenades there from the. Well. It's such a good feeling to hit two people with it. It's disgusting to be one of those two people. Though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you even notice you took damage. At least there's knockback that will let you know. <laughs> Definite Yo. advantage now to uh, NSI. Yeah. But that seemed to go away. Uh, be pretty even again. It's interesting how much teams will hang out at top mid, like it's not as advantageous as it would be in like a clan arena match. I think it still has a massive advantage though, even with the advent of things like uh, grenades, being having just having more grenades and the wood cannon. Uh, yeah, well as long as you can have it secured and not be like getting railed from every flank, then you can if you have control of the top, then you can react quickly to anywhere on the map. Yeah. Which is a nice benefit. And hear, hear more across the map. So they've... Oh. He'll stay alive for four seconds now. Oh, that's Rangers. probably bad. JT almost had it. Yeah, but this is a. I, th I feel like an advantage for. Uh, Supreme's off the map. This definitely an advantage now for. Um, for Rev. Rev, yeah. They need to hold on for the next eight seconds to make it a 3v. They need to get a kill as well to make it a 3v3, but. At least JT's not alone now. CG, it's all up to GB Master here, really. He's losing his armor, he's... Yeah. Yep. That's not who they wanted to die first. Tied up. Yeah, this is a big round now. Was very lucky of him. He really went flying off the map there. Oh Caught my, my goodness. Wall. Yeah, it's not a good feeling to land on the jump pad and be forced to go back up, but JT was hitting like the other guy was in the air. <laughs> very effective. Early fights definitely go in the way of. Uh... Open up, but what can they do with the uh, additional armor? And it's oh, there we go. JT is finally getting down low. But the other two NSI players haven't lost their armor. They're starting to now. Frags have evened up now as well, so the next death should be pretty much the same. So unfortunate for both of them to get out at the same time. Danger needs to try to preserve this armor. Yeah, this also okay. two very low players on. And they're double healing somewhere, yeah. Oof. It's unfortunate not to hit any of those rockets. Yeah, that was unlucky. He's on 40 second respawn, this is uh Looks like it might be slipping away from uh NSI. Yep. Where's GB Master here? <laughs> nice hiding spot. He's got to stay here for 15 seconds. Let's hope they don't check. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, he felt he felt like it was time to go. He, he's yeah. pretty much right. Now this is the chance. Ah, I was gonna. <laughs> Free and Neem have a chance now. The, both of the player, all four players on Rev are low. They have a. It'll be a 3v4. 
managed to not take a lot of damage in these initial fights. Yeah, they should. Hopefully, they realize they shouldn't really be just going all in now. There we go. They need to. They need to put, start pushing now. I feel like. Yeah, somebody on rev should be dying. And... Death. Death there. just died. He is 15 seconds. Think will they find him? They were close. Jeez. Uh... Oh no, yeah, JT. Um... <laughs> it's about to be a 2v4. Rev's lost most of his sack now. That nade is nasty. But Kaibosh on any push. He's taking the stack off GB Master. But they know where he is. He's just, uh, there we go. Tough. That was a nice turnaround from NSI. They they definitely were uh, in a rough patch there. Yeah, agreed. Goes to show if they can slow it down if they want to. Yeah. Teams aren't really slowing it down as much as I thought they would. But again, I mean, this is 4v4, so it's it's different than the 3v3 official tournaments that we saw for a few months. Yeah, definitely. It's In 3v3, it's so clear when it's time to push. You're only keeping track of three opponents, and they don't have... You know, it's less likely they have a respawn coming up, so... It can be pretty obvious when you should push them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Have you learned anything? I don't know if I've learned anything from watching these teams, other than they know how to aim and, you know, us not so much. <laughs> I think the main thing is uh, creeping up in teamfights. A yeah. lot of the teams we've been are the ones that have been able to get 1v1s and uh, 2 v TV uh, threes and stuff like that, where they can just simply they they could put more damage out, no matter what, because they just have the ability to deal more damage. Like right, isolate ice being able to isolate players is is the main thing, or players making mistakes that are causing them to get isolated. You want to try and pull people into into fights where they they, they overextend and then you can shoot them from two angles. Right. Yeah. I think on a map like Sunken as well, like uh, the teams like to hold places and then force the uh, force try and force the other team to to come to them or get to the point where they have such an advantage through just long range rail like pincer battles or spam that they they feel comfortable enough to push in and, and go for the killing brine. Yeah, and the thing is, like us on this map, and this is probably the case for many maps, is like. If you're holding a room, like the waterfall room, the enemy team, if they want to push in, they've got to split up. Because you yeah. can't all go through one of those narrow doorways. So And they also have to come in flying as well. They have to make sure their rocket jumps to get through are good, and they can get through quickly to yeah. as much damage as possible. Yeah, but as, as soon as, as the defending team, as soon as you bog down the enemy, they've split up to try to poke at you. You can then two or three of you can just push out and double or triple team one of the attackers um, which they might not expect but because that team has split up to try to push in you know you can then start focusing one one or two of them like that so Chrissy yeah Like Masan's coming in. I'm yep, here. Full. Uh, you Hello. need to uh, move someone in and restart the lobby. Yeah, Masan's subbing in. Who's going for out? Rev. For? Yeah. For, uh, for which player? 
Uh, who's left? It was, uh, it was on Sart, on a Sart, whatever yeah, his name is. He got benched apparently. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, we can just we can just change. Toya Fortress. When you do the, the lobby stuff, Chrissy, if you just remove the map we played... Yeah, I forgot it. I know. But, uh... <laughs> what can I say? We're all noobs at this. <laughs> so. Apparently, it's not just me. Well, maybe you, maybe you have done it. Have you casted Fine. much before? Uh, the last game I casted properly was a game called Black Bear Retribution about a decade ago. <laughs> I've I've helped cast a couple of Quake Champions duels and maybe some sacrifice, but very little. I had a friend that used to try and get me to cast CS, but I didn't want to. I wanted to play CS. Who is uh, switching? I just switched on and switched on to you, Chrissy, so apparently. No, they're, they're, everyone's in now. So, they've started. Oh, they've started. I didn't even realize. Yeah, they've started. Yeah. That was quick. They're ready to go. Uh, let's see what Masan's up to. So, if opening three frags went the way of uh, NSI. And they've also managed to deal a lot of damage to take off the armor of two of those respawns, too. So, they're in a pretty good position, really. They need to make sure their deaths are staggered, I'd say, so that they don't Ooh. get caught out by their low stacks. So, I feel That's like they need to pull off now and, and go die. Yeah, it was. They were in a risky place for a second, but. Still relatively risky. Hopefully, Supreme knows he shouldn't be the one that gets yes. wrapped up in so a this, fight. This, this is, this is, they're in a very good position now. Everyone's on 20 second respawns on Rev. Most of them, oh, apart from Messi, apparently, he hadn't died yet. That means one of them's on a 40 second. That was some nice aggression there from Nick. He was he knew he was he was on his first death, so he just went in. And just finished his life off and did a ton of damage. It's up to Masan for ten seconds. Yeah, yeah. oh it's tough. No, he's, he's got caught. He, go, lasted, round. he lasted seconds. quite a while for that situation, but it's never good to fall down there when there's four guys coming at you. Yeah. Of course you have to sometimes. Well, Rev was unified, all four of them in this starting room. Yeah, all four of them in the uh, B, McGuffin side, side. What do you call that room? I don't know. I've just started calling it Waterfall Room, but it's probably not the only Waterfall feature. We call it uh, Crystal, because there's the Crystal and the bot we call Shaft. So. The crystals where Shaft is, where they are, where Supreme's fighting now. But where's what would you call the other side of the map? The other on the other side, we call it blue. Blue. They're all called different. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard they call out blue before in a pub. That didn't know. That wow. was a very quick Round round. I think. Three. Think. Yeah, nice four catch. four deaths total, four frags total from Ness and only three from. Rev, that was a that was a low frag round there for a wipeout game. Fight. Also, wasn't super quick either. It's still a full minute. It's like JT caught some damage. He's healing already. Yeah, Rev got some uh, nice early damage in, but SMG is taking quite a bit now, and he's down to just under just over a hundred stack. I wish Prometheus would have left the crystal in this map, like the big crystal that was above. LG, because then it would be easy to just call that room crystal still. There's kind of a featured landmark of the map, and he took it out. He gave us a cross, so. Or T, depending on which way you look at. What area is that? The, the, wooden, the wooden T that goes across the, the map with crystals. Oh, I got you. An unlucky round there for uh, 
Nice, nice throw. Salvage that somewhat. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't have any picture. Just hit uh right yeah, mouse no. button. So, um... Are you following Christy? Yeah, I'm following Christy. I'm so she's on GB right Master. Now. Okay, yeah, I'll do the same. It's a nice frag there from Gib, pushing in. SMG is low, but he's getting some nice damage off. But he's now alone for 15 seconds, and there he is. Round four. And JT with that shotgun pincer. Love to see it. And as I start to dominate a bit here. Yeah, they're definitely running away with this one. Three rounds on the trot. And no real... And he really feels like um, Rever in this. Not like the last game where they felt like they had some, some voice. This one's been very one-sided. I don't think there's been a point where I felt like... Uh, and as I've been at a disadvantage, really. Uh, been in the driving seat quite long. That's a nice damage there from JT with that pincer. I think he got a collab there. Jeez. Let's see if you can charge this up. Ah, oh, unfortunately, misses that one. Yeah, NSI's either got more experience on the map or they're just better deathmatch players and there's there's fewer places to hide. That was disgusting from JT. 80 health, two pincers, and two death, two kills. Rev's now trapped between a rock and a hard place and Mia size on his own. He's got a friend now, but not for long. Nice nice shotgun. Yeah. I wish my aim was steady with the shotgun like that. It never shoots where I want it to. <laughs> was definitely in NSI's favour, but now I would say it's in revs, given the stacks, even with the additional players, but the respawn times on NSI mean that they can uh, stagger their deaths a bit and regain their advantage, hopefully. Part I did not realise Supreme was on his third Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's going to be a while for him. That's They're still ahead on frags, so... It's going to be pretty even now, I would say. Yeah. Slightly more stack on Rev, but I feel like NSI have been hitting harder, so... JT's only on a 20 second as well, so he's he'll be backing quickly. It's really down to GB Master to stay alive and not take too much damage. But that's unfortunately, he's just taking a shit ton and it's Round over. Five. Just like that. Some life out of uh, Rev now, which is good. Um, let's see if they can keep it going and string more than one round together. Because they are on... Uh, this is uh, the last chance saloon for this map for them. So they get three more on the bounce. Some nice opening damage from them. They definitely came out on top in that situation. Oh, maybe not actually. They lost a frag. But uh, now it's pretty even again. Some nice long range rockets there from uh, GB. Doing very well to stay alive there on such low health, especially with rockets getting spammed in, smoking, oh. some, hitting some disgusting pincers as well. I oh, have those last, down. last second desperation pincers really made it worth it that he was still alive. It's a nice direct from uh, Lee Danger. Some nice shaft as well. Maybe not. <laughs> Didn't last long. Until Unfortunately, he, yeah, it was it until he started getting LG'd in the back. Yep. The problem is, you get 3v1, just not much you can do. Getting bounced around all over the shop as well. Oh yeah, it's really hard to maintain aim, tracking aim in particular. GB doing well to stay alive there, but definitely the, uh, the advantage is in red side now. Uh, it's really down to need to stay alive for as long as... To stay alive and take as little damage as possible now. JT's back up and... Uh, I'm gonna switch over to uh, to JT actually. See what's happening. Some nice shafts there, and that slow weeble is uh, 
Let's not stay with that implosion weevil messing him up a bit. Oh, wow, cheeky player. Ballsy, seven health in the dream. <laughs> Almost was finished off by the smoke. This is it, I think. Uh, they've got there it. Go. Yeah. Finished with the pincer. Strong start from uh, from NSI. They uh, Toya looked pretty close, but that was comfortably, comfortably them on uh, Sunken. Let's see how well Springers. Obviously, this is probably the most played wipeout map in the entire game at this point. Toya's yeah. probably pushing closer, I would say, get in recent months, but well, Spring has been there since the beginning. It was in it's the all... Test Tournament series as well. Right. It's always been interesting to me how, in Europe, Toya seems to be a much more popular map. In the US, it's like, you'd have to play everything else like three times before people will vote for Toya. I think Toya just got, people started wanting to play Toya, so um, they jumped in. Uh, I think people wanted to play something different, and Toy was it was either Toy or Refinery, and I think they chose Refinery. So in the recent months, people have picked up uh, Toy as a pretty popular uh, map for pickups. Oh, okay, interesting though, because you have Refinery was definitely definitely the third, like the third map, in quotes for uh, NA. I think it's like just not liked in Europe. I'm I'm not a massive. Uh, I haven't played a ton of wipeout pickups. I used to like it a lot, but it's starting to get way too slow. I prefer the work in progress one that Premius uploaded uh, a few weeks back. Hopefully that will, that should be he. That's we haven't heard anything new regarding it for a while. No, but, uh, uh, hopefully he'll release that somewhat soon. Yeah, but maybe they, he needs to make some tweaks. So. Yeah, it was a bit odd. I wonder if he's gotten strong feedback in a certain direction or not you could just be busy with the other game i mean there's other but. stuff to be working on as well uh, who knows right but it's pretty pretty subtle changes to it i Basically, don't think so they ch they chunked the whole part of the map <laughs> right but it was like i mean right but Basically, that was removing that that lower level. You could say it was like basement level, like top to bottom yeah, wise. Yeah, they removed the side with like the dirt area um, and out, out below the diving board. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was referring to. But and where the mega is if you play the warm up version of Refinery. Yeah. So it's good. I mean, Chris, that whole there, so that whole. And the map needs to get reset. But that whole underneath area was just the place to hide, basically. Chrissy. So. Chrissy. What's up? Uh, SMG needs to be removed. SMG's disc. SMG needs to be removed, and uh, San needs to be put in again. Well, SMG's disconnected, but he's still in the lobby technically. So, uh, not Miss San even. Um... Wait. Yeah, ice, ice not should be it, I think. Well, spring. Now you're impressed. Oh no, SMG needs to be removed. He's AFK. Yeah, he can change. He's AFK. AFK, nice. Oh, well, he's <laughs> left. I, he's supposed to. I think he's left, but he hasn't left. Oh, he probably left match, but not the lobby. <laughs> Alright, they're all in now. Wellspring. Oh, Noctis in chat. What's up, Noctis? Is that repulse guy? Is that pulse? Siphonator. From like the pro. I don't know if that's the same guy. Alright, getting underway here. Be interesting to see how these teams take it. Will they, will they fight top wall? Will they fight bridge? Will they hold rims on the far side? That's the question. Looks like they're fighting mid uh, with me. Opening frags going in the way of Rev, but a lot of damage going in the favour of uh, NSI. 
Yeah, and SI had a comfortably took control of the top mid. Supreme just <laughs> went oh, straight oh, through. The... So did what a mess. I don't think he was fully expecting to run into four people because he had a shaft down. Well, certainly not like four, <laughs> four heal bubbles on top of each other. Yeah. That's what they were doing in there. This opening salvo has definitely got in the favor of Rev. They first. Uh, GB hasn't died yet, which is good at least. But JT is definitely not the one they want to be taking damage right now. In this first round, we can actually count and see how many deaths each person has. Imagine. Every time someone dies when I'm following, like Kersey, someone dies, it doesn't ever switch to whoever she switched to. This yeah, L. This is working for me. Maybe it's that's. I have to keep hitting it. I have to keep hitting L to refollow her. Yeah. Well, I following you. No, no, it's fine. You're, it's just. You're following me. No, Handy. You're oh, following okay. me. Oh god. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> doing anything. <laughs> I was following. You. I clicked L and was following you, but that's fine. I'm on uh, Misan now. Which... But JT's on his own and he's not got. Really oh, he's managed sense. to survive. I'm piggybacking then, I guess, off her. It only yeah, rotates between deathmatch. <laughs> nice. Such noobs. No, we're model professionals. GB's got his work out from now, he's got 20 seconds. I think this that's, is doable. That's one way to do it. There we go, that was a nice, wow. very nicely done from GB. He was able to 2v1 that, using Siphonator to max efficiency. He Pushed really. Into a narrow corridor. Yeah, he managed to funnel them in. Slap the rockets. You know. That was a very nice push there from uh, through that teleporter and a nice ring out. JT. They decided to be careful now to stagger their respawns. All of them bar GBM. GB is still on their first death. Still on their first life, sorry, should I say anything? That lack of stack could be quite detrimental to them. Rocket. from GB Master. Yeah. He's doing really well to stay alive in this situation. Massive disadvantage. Did some nice damage before he went down there. It's quite well done. I was about JT to say. JT and Nia are very low, so this is very dangerous for them. But that was only JT's first death, which is good. Uh, yeah, he's coming back fresh. So is GB Master. It's an unfortunate push from Supreme, he took a ton of damage there, but uh, there's a lot of members of Rev are pretty low, and I think they've all used their heal weevils from what I can tell. Um, not 100% sure, but... It's almost like one of them should just jump off the map. If they can't find the enemy to die, then someone should have just jumped uh, off. They all died quite a lot of times though. They're all on, oh, they're all, that, they're all on 40 yeah. seconds now. That makes it harder to decide to make that decision. Much harder. I mean, who wants to jump off the map and spectate for 40 seconds? It's no fun. That's not even that. It's the uh, the massive disadvantage there. But this is this is True. dangerous now <laughs> because every event, see, they're going to be staggering 40 seconds. They've got 15 seconds alone. It's going to be be a good time for a commercial break. <laughs> I mean, Misan is Misan is going to survive. They're not going to find him here. I don't think. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, he just. Wow, how lucky but now, was now that he's... dodge? He's down for 40. <laughs> yeah. They're, a f they're almost a full full rotate of spawns behind uh, behind uh, NSI, which is not where you want to be, really. 
No. I mean, they're in a good, good position now, but not for much longer. They're taking damage. It's a 3v... 3v2. I mean, the side will be up in a second and that'll be good, but every death now they're down for a minute. So unless they can unless they can get a lot of damage and change some stuff together, they're at a really disadvantage. And with only 14 seconds on uh My son. On on G B. Less than uh, that now six. Mm, mm. It's not a good place to be if you're missing. Uh, you you might have a lot of stack, but yeah, he does have. Be. He did have full that. armor. Yeah, kind of tricks he bad. has. Yeah. That's not a good trick. I need to do better at controlling the camera as well, apparently. It's a nice opening damage there from Rev. <laughs> Sending me flying with grenades. Getting the opening kill on Supreme. Ballsy push into uh, upper water there. It's quite funny how if you're just persistent with the spam, you'll <laughs> the other team will eventually get antsy. Start walking all over it. Yep. Some nice damage there from uh, JV. TV1 and managed to get a kill, that was really nice. Goodbye, so they weren't moving as a unit, but they split up a bit now. Uh, could be detrimental, but he catches Supreme off there, Masan. Not expecting him to be healing low water. He, he was... He, he either jumped or got knocked into the air and it was the end of him quickly. I think he jumped out of the corner. Yeah. Yeah, this round definitely looks like it's going to be in the... Towing, at the moment, towing towards Rev's favour, but I think that could change pretty quickly depending on what happens off uh, JT spawn. It's going be a, a distinct stack advantage right there for, uh, for NSI. That was some very Rev. nice spam right there on the game. Oh, there we go. Round four. <sighs> so again, it's, it's looking quite dominant from uh, NSI in these last two maps. It's be interesting to see if Rev can do what they did in the last map and at least get uh, get one map before this is all over. But I don't, I don't have confidence. They've had advantage, advantageous situations, but they haven't been able to take advantage of it. So. Yeah. And who knows if they've even got the uh, determination here? Can I say? Mad, some mad pushes down there to bottom water, which is just not not worked out for them at all. They're lucky that there was a lot of short respawns, otherwise that would have been it. GG right there. Right. Getting trapped in a corridor. Taking a ton of unreturned damage from the flanks. Victory. There we go. There, that's it. GG's. It's all she right. Generally, it's just a matter of being out, out aimed, out deathmatched. Because it felt pretty random otherwise. Well, that's it, I guess. All right, people saying I said Twitch. I can only do one thing at a time because I'm an idiot and I'm a man. <laughs> so I, I had to talk. I can't, I can't hit the right mouse button to switch. All right, I'm sorry. Okay, I apologize. Well, we have a saying in German language. Uh, if you once have a worm in, inside, all goes wrong. Okay, so thanks, I would say. We're finished for today. Thanks for running the stream, Kersey. <laughs> How do you pronounce your name? Kersey, what? like you did. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's very tempting to switch the R to the second letter. <laughs> okay.